Hey y'all, so first and foremost, we're gonna start off with the unboxing of the Rev Air, of course. Y'all, this store and tote bag that they provided to put the dryer in, I don't know any other company that provides that, okay? Once I saw that, they had my heart. First and foremost, we're gonna start off with the foam liner insert. They also provided us with four section and hair clips, a mist bottle, a nice hair towel. Then we also get two filter baskets. I believe there was one already in there, a nice comb, an accessory bag. And now we're gonna get into the juicy part. Now the whole unboxing, the whole packaging, everything, the colors, just everything is just so attracting. And I was just so excited to finally have this in my hands. Of course, we get the Rev Air, we get the heat producing wand, and then we also get a little detachable wand set, and then also the holes. Also, just to mention, the Rev Air has seven different heat settings, so you have many different options. Now we are going to get into blow drying my hair. I already blew out half of my hair, so I will show you my steps into doing the second half. I first start off with this blow dry cream from Eden Body Works. This is one of my favorites, and also the Pantene Heat Protectant. I thoroughly detangled my hair, and then I started to blow dry my hair on the heat setting of five or six. I don't fully remember. Um, overall... I would say the whole process of blow drying my hair was pretty smooth, but I would say the drying time definitely was cut down compared to using a regular blow dryer. And something else that I noticed is because my hair is super thick, I noticed that the suction may need to be a little higher or the heat setting needs to be a little higher because parts of my hair was still a little curly. And I'm gonna show you, I believe right here, as you guys can see, like some of my strands were a little bit curly, so I had to go back in and make sure that I thoroughly blow dry it. I am very grateful to have been sent this rev air because y'all, I was manifesting this for the longest. But girl, let me tell you, forget the gym, okay? Forget the arm workout because this will give you that arm and upper body workout that you need. I had to rest my hand on my knees because girl... This was something overall you're going to repeat the same steps you're going to use a blow dry cream or a cream of your choice or leave-in conditioner then you're going to go in with the heat protectant i nowadays like to spray my heat protectant on my hands and to apply it to my hair i don't know it's just something that i do but overall this blow dryer is definitely top tier I really look forward to blow drying my hair again, maybe in the next couple of months, and maybe possibly comparing it to my Revlon or my Dyson, because I also do have a Dyson. So I would love to see that comparison to see which one I feel like maybe moves the fastest, gives me the best blowout, really depending on, you know, what style I'm trying to do or whatever the case may be. And you guys may be wondering why my hair looks a little bit short, as you guys can see in these final results. But it's because a week before I cut my hair, because it was due for a much needed trim and overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video look at this luscious and healthy hair i'll see you in the next one